This is Vaughn Clement. We're going to start this tour out by adding consigner data. In this screen, there are currently four consigners assigned. You can use a scroll bar if there are many more, or use a find to locate a consigner. Or you can check by the name of the consigner in the consigner data screen to see who you're viewing. Or use the a find to find them by their ID number. You can also categorize or use a search to pick a consigner by the type, and you can edit this list. There's also modification and creation dates, you know, when the record was created. Now, the consigner himself, the data is added in this, this area. You can also change to another consigner and modify the data there or return. You can also add what I call electronic information which is their internet and phone and other information. Or you can add freelance notes to this record. This concludes adding data to the consigner screen. Thank you. Once again on the consigner screen, we're going to talk about layouts and options for reports and buttons. Consigner is where we start all of our screens. You can add a new record here or use find to find an old record, or to show or hide the menu buttons and options at the top of the screen on the main menu. And again, you can hide it. We have reports for consigner and buyers. The employee report is also included in the screen. You can get to support by using the support icon. And the unlock means you can have new records in this screen. There's a list view for looking at all the records in this screen. Next, we'll be using tabs. Next, we're looking at tabs. Tabs are used to consolidate all the screens into a single screen. Now, we're going to walk through some of these tabs to show you that this client has additional screens. For example, the location, which is based on the address for this consigner. There's also a picture might be shown in the exact location on Google Maps where the home is or business. This is UDF fields that are added. These are fields that you can expand the database by adding your own title and your own input field. This allows you to expand the database for fields that I did not add. And there's a long scrolling field, for example. The consignment portal is where the consignment items are entered, and there could be one to thousands if you wanted to put them in there. This is the consigner who has the consigned items. This is the commission between the store and the consigner. This is the ID number for the consigner himself. There's a picture of the item that was consigned for each record, the date it was consigned, the name of the item. There's a rate at which the original quote was for, and an ID number for the item, and the actual price that the store feels it should sell for. There is a consigner discount if needed. There's also a rate at which on a downgoing basis 20, 25, and 30, and the prices that are calculated for those discounts, and also the day count, for example, 30 through 104 days. These are automatically calculated and the dates are shown when they become effective. There's a drop down that explains the current status of the item. There's a tax rate that you can add. There's also a calculated sales tax is calculated by the item. There's a consignment uh, date that it was paid, the date, and what the consigner and the store recovered from the sale of the item. The calendar tab has an appointment calendar where you can track consigner and buyer uh, information as far as if you have to do a delivery or a pickup and any other things that you may want to cover. The pickup and delivery schedule can be edited in this screen for each user or a consigner. You can put the information that is related to that particular person, including the schedule, and there is a drop-down list where you can edit or a text field where you can add notes. There are as many records as you want to put in there for that item. Outside sales are things like estate sales or special sales that you may run, where you have certain dates, times, and type of sale that you may be wanting to run, plus a pickup schedule or status uh, field where you can add your own drop-down items. 
action items are items for this particular consigner or the store where you have to do something for this consigner. This could include uh, special uh, surface uh, repairs on items or repairs on the item themselves where you may want to charge a 